25 years. <laughs> so glad Can you, you believe said. it's been 25 years? Um, it feels a lot longer. <laughs> Tom was one of the first students I ever had at, uh, when I taught at Texas A&M. We kind of we kind of bonded, and, and there's a rumor that we actually met at the Dixie Chicken and, and not in class. Because you lived at the Chicken, mostly. When it was obvious that design was going to be what we were going to have to do, I said, this is the guy I want to do it with. And we both, I think, were, were very good landscape architects, but we just had different personalities, different skills, and they complemented each other real stuff, well. Yeah. Earl of Mata was always panic early. That was we got a project. Yeah, that, that was, was when you, was your mind. But mine was always kind of, oh, I went to the last minute, and then under pressure, let's knock out a design. And so I, those I've, are kinda, two different I've approaches. kind of learned, you know, to, to do more of the panic early. And, yeah, and I've learned to be more thoughtful. 1987, <laughs> there's nowhere to go but up, right? 48 percent vacancy rate in Austin and I would go around and tell people we were opening up a firm and they would say uh, a what? what? What do you say failure was not an option? We'd say design it well because you may be cutting the grass yeah, on it yeah. tomorrow. Early days were a lot of fun. It was a lot of excitement. Uh, Austin was just starting to really grow. Uh, the office was uh, in an old historic building. The company stayed fairly small for the first five uh, to ten years. Uh, as we began to grow, it was right around the time when the economy was really starting to improve in the Texas market. When I joined the firm, we were called the Broussard Group. But I came in opening Dallas as a full-service venture and had clients who approached me. They said, if it's Broussard Group, I've got to work with Broussard. Understandable. Uh, and I broached that with Earl and I said, you know, if we're going to start growing a firm and having multiple offices, that's not very practical. He said, then we lose the Broussard and we come, become a collaborative practice. and we become a more neutral name that can create a brand. And so we became TBG Partners. From that, we were really able to kind of branch out and start recruiting talent. And I think that's been the difference maker through the years is that we were able to bring people in at an early age, uh, kind of grow them up through the company, spread our wings a little bit, and. Uh, and conquer new markets. We found uh, back in the uh, mid to late 90s, we did the first um, large, large rec center. It kind of opened our eyes to the ability to create really a resort destination within a community. So we have to think about these types of infrastructures that when we design uh, communities, it's not just about uh, where your home is, it's how you're connected to the land around you. Creating great recreational amenities and communities taught us how to uh, spin that expertise into a hospitality expertise. I always remember the, the JW Marriott interview, and, and that was the biggest hospitality project we'd ever interviewed for, a thousand room resort. And the market for hospitality is taking us overseas. So we have to be more savvy and, and really globally important issues to be able to be credible in markets like Mexico with Cabo and Solmar and China with Ningbo. As we look to the design in the future of healthcare, we see it mimicking sometimes what hospitality is, which is it's very patient or guest centric. That's one of the wonderful things about landscape architecture and, uh, and the outdoor environment is it has a wonderful healing and regenerative process. Yeah, Dell Children's is really one of the most unique projects I've been a part of. Number one, it's the first lead platinum hospital in the world uh, that people from all over the world look at as a, as a leading type of project in that industry. But as a designer, you're putting yourself out there constantly. You're, you're, you're taking your, your ideas and you're exposing them. And if you feel uncomfortable and self-conscious, you can't do that. You can't do that. So you've got to have an atmosphere where people are comfortable and willing to, to go out on a limb and put out something that might be kind of wacky, because it could be a great idea. I think what's unique about TVG is that we don't take ourselves too seriously. And when we're up here working on deadlines, we're having a heck of a good time. You know, we've always kind of had that motto of you work hard and you play hard. And uh, when it's time to do the, the heavy lifting as a collective group, uh, we're always there and ready to do it. But there's times that you've also got to celebrate and have fun and uh, kick back a little bit. And so we've been known to do that on occasions as well. But I've heard, you know, from, from people who come from other offices and they come in and say, oh, it's so much different here. It's just so much more fun. You, know, you guys really enjoy your work. And so many of the people do things socially together that really there's such a bonding that, that's happened to where people typically don't leave the company too much. They do things together in, in their spare time. It's more than a job to them. Now, I think the one thing that, that I really like about it is, at least the part that I've been working on in the last few years, is, is creating 
people places. You know, a place like the Capitol here and, and see the people using it and think back to, you know, the, the vision we had and then how it got executed and now it's, it's being used and there's people, you know, looking at the monuments and taking pictures. The challenge with any firm is that when you hit a milestone of 25 years is where are you going to go in the next 25 years? And I think that um, we don't want to go back and change who we are. When I think about TBG, I think about uh, that concept that Earl instilled at a very early age, which was it wasn't a place that it was just going to be about one person. It was going to be about uh, everybody contributing. And if there was a new market sector, if there was something that you wanted to try differently, um, he was willing to try it, always. My favorite part about being at TBG has been watching the maturation of really talented people. We're always trying to do better. I don't think we're ever satisfied just kind of stopping with what we have. But more importantly, I think the clients know that through this process, they're working with their friends. We have so many repeat projects with clients. We have so many long-term clients that we've had forever. You know, the, the, the idea that we still have our original client. Typically, we don't lose many clients. Sometimes that happens and then uh, 10 years later, they're a client again. So uh, sometimes, you know, you uh, only miss the one you love, the one you shouldn't. No, that's not it, is it? Uh, you only hurt the one you love, right? That's not the right. You don't miss your water too well when it's dry. There you go. That's no? it. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good.